Hello everyone. So today I'm going to work on this. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set up a nanite tessellated landscape that support displacement from scratch. So we will be importing some textures and we will create a material from scratch and enable required settings in order to get this tessellated landscape. So yeah. And before we get started, let me quickly remind you that uh, you can access project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done in my channel from my Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can access everything without any limits. So feel free to check it out. And now let's get back to today's tutorial. All right. So this is a brand new project. Uh, in Unreal Engine 5.6. So now we are going to test, uh, create a material from scratch that support tessellation on the landscape so we can get a detailed landscape. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is import in some textures. So here, let's go to Fab, Quick. Pixel, terrain let's see and okay, I search forest flow and let's try this one here if you check maps you can see gloss displacement specular normal so this should be good enough for us to test so I'll select high quality and add to project it's important if I go to the textures this is what I see so even though I have a material already here, which is actually a material instance and it does have some problems here. So I'm not going to use that. I'm going to create one from scratch using these materials. So let's create a material M landscape. Let me open it. And here I drag and drop all these maps. This is base color, should go to base color. And this, this displacement, this is normal. Should go to normal. And this is ORM. O, o stands for occlusion, ambient occlusion. R stands for roughness. M stands for metallic. So connect them, all right. And this is height. So this should go to displacement, but displacement is currently disabled. And to enable that, here select the main node or do select everything. And if you check this nanite section, you can see enable tessellation and expand this so you don't need we don't need to change anything here as of now but here we have a small issue this is sampled as alpha but this should be sampled as grayscale in order to make this texture work with displacement so here go to compression settings of the texture click grayscale still we have an error and enable this rgb now this is the correct setting and yeah now the material is correct but here let me save this level the displacement test okay now let's apply this material to this landscape here okay so we do get the material but still we don't see any kind of displacement so first thing you should do is nanite enable nanite and build data it's built but still you don't see any displacements the other thing you should check is edit project settings 
SM6. D3, D12 target shadow formats. SM6 enable this and restart. Save selected. And now this is working. And while I restart, I got this error. And uh, not warning, not error. Was missing usage flag used with nanite. So let's enable that. Usage. Oh, it's enabled. Oh, it's already enabled. I just need to resave it. Okay. All right. So now we do have displacement, but it's too extreme. So we can go here. And under this uh, displacement, we can optimize this. Here, it's still too much. If I make it point 0.1. Oh, I just, I didn't apply it. Yeah, now it's better. Okay, now let me put my character here. in game mode and you see the character is kind of floating on the ground so here if you go to let me go back the center if you change this to zero and apply now we'll see character is firmly on the ground what is correctly placed on the ground But that does not mean you always have to make this zero. It depends on what you are going to make it, what you are going to, the way you are, you want to set up your material for the landscape. Uh, you can use this to like, it's for example, if you are setting up a snow system, a snow landscape, you might need something else for this. All right, so that's it. So thanks for watching. Next time I want to use this nanite, nanite tessellated landscape and implement a snow landscape that is affected by distance fields and the character when the character walks on the snow I need to make a trail that deform the landscape using the displacement using a distance field and create a trail behind the character that's what I'm going to try next and actually that would be the continuation of the system that we worked on here okay let me know if you have any questions in the comments see you in another episode goodbye